Well, I'm here at the um, Lake Fire Incident Command Center. Um, I'm joined today with U.S. Forest Service uh, Josh Bame. And Josh, we're going on day seven of this fire. Tell me a little bit about what the challenges are that are still out there. So there's lots of challenges, and the challenges really haven't changed a whole lot since day one. Um, obviously, our primary concern is firefighter safety. we got to make sure that all the firefighters return home at the end of this safe and sound. And so the challenge is, um, is, is doing that. So the heat, it's been extremely hot in the fire area, extremely dry conditions, which creates rapid uh, fire growth. And so those challenges, making sure we've got the right amount of people in the right spot at the right time for the right, you know, the right duration to do the job. Um, but our, our primary challenge is making sure that those firefighters return home safe every time we go to a fire. And what are the crews out there working on today? So every day we come together and what we do is we set priorities. And so the priorities for the incident today are three main priorities are the, the east, the west, and the south. And so up in the, way, uh, the, the west, northwest corner of the fire, um, up in the Sisquak uh, River, is we're trying to limit the fire spread. It, we got you know just a couple last little chances to hold some fire in there before it gets all the way up into the wilderness. And so it's been a huge problem for us. Uh, the terrain is just so un unforgiving. Um, and then down in the south end, around the structures, down in uh, Figaro Mountain Road, um, more challenges there, lots of fire, um, some rapid fire growth overnight. Um, and then in the uh, southeast corner, uh, over in the Goat Rock area, out right close to the wilderness area. And so those are, those are our challenges or our, our uh, priorities for the day. All right, thanks, Josh. And then today I also spoke with some local businesses over in Los Olivos about some of the challenges that they're facing. As the lake fire burns, nearby businesses tell me they're struggling. It pretty much kills business until it's over with. One of the things that hurts about this is this is something that deters people from getting in their car and coming to visit us. Roger Wisted owns Blackjacks in Los Olivos, and when I spoke to him on Thursday, a normally full parking lot was completely empty. It's hot and the smoke is pretty strong and it's, you know, not ideal wine tasting conditions. Sarlos & Sons owner Keith Sarlos tells me the smoke is hindering the start of their most profitable season. San Inez Valley, uh, it's almost entirely dependent on tourism. But for some tourists like Ron Miller and his wife, the fire hasn't stopped their visit. I'm not worried about it sipping wine, enjoying their vacation. Like life is precious and you can tell we're getting up there. <laughs> so it's like, I'm gonna just enjoy it, you know, and I trust the people that are in charge. Sarlos has confidence in the fire crews and the strength of the Los Olivos community. Our community has come together and everybody's taking care of each other. And I think that's probably the best thing. I mean, the smoke is thick, but the, the community is thicker. And as of right now, the fire is still under investigation and small businesses are urging visitors to come and visit still if you can. Here in Santa Maria, Mackenzie Diaz, KSBY News. All right, Mackenzie, thank you.